Why do I feel the way that I do? Why do I think the way that I do? Date reference. I don't know if I'll pop it up, we'll see. Today's Father's Day. So let's say, for example, this video comes out the middle of July. The day I'm recording is Father's Day. So, the thoughts on the mind, whatever, whatever, whatever. You should know me by now. My mom texted me this morning. It's Father's Day, hello. Happy Father's Day. She texted me before I went to bed. Yes, I said this morning. I got home around 6.30. She texted me, Happy Father's Day. I replied to her when I woke up. She told me she's been following my videos. Thank you, mom. Another sign, ASL. I'll give lessons all the time. This is I love you in sign language. I L Y. I love you. Okay? I love you, mom. And happy Father's Day to you, mom. I tell everybody, my mom's gets Mother's Day and Father's Day wishes. I told you on a video before, I'm sure. Anyways, so then she says she's following my videos. She likes the videos. And now here I am just having fun. And I also told her, I was like, yeah, so, so she likes it. She's like, you have, you have a lot to say. I said, there's a lot on my mind. She said, put on your white face. Dude, I loved it. Especially when you can quote me. The same way I can quote Too Short, Tupac, Kobe. I can quote so many people. If you can quote me and a lot of my coworkers and people that listen to my album, the song that sticks out the most, that surprises the heck out of me, because my favorite song, if you're talking about like, because I guess you're talking about mainstream and you're talking about reaching mass people, not just a specific crowd or whatever it is. So my music is, is obviously targeted towards a specific crowd. But you're like, you wanna hear a banger where even like my wife could listen to it? You're talking about You Ain't Better Than Me, which is track seven. Because that one is not the only, it, there is a message, but it's not the same message I'm putting out when I'm talking about government agencies and specific people and then, and, and, you know, uh, current events or things in the news the one song that everybody loves is track 14 <laughs> because the hook is just ridiculous and when i did it it was in we were in star service because it was lowe's we were in the back office at star service and i was at the manager desk because i was a supervisor at the time it was me caesar i want to say aaron was there i mean obviously we had a full staff but either way it was the homies from star service at Lowe's in Hollywood, and the way that subject and the, and the conversation came up, and I made a hook out of it. Because I'm clean in my videos now, I can't reference it, but if you wanna know, parental advisory, just so you know, track 14, A New McKnight, My Inner Thoughts. You Google, I'm on Apple Music, I'm on Spotify, I'm, 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 I'm around. You can even do an Instagram story, do music, type in my full name, A New Space McKnight, all my songs pop up, go to the song that says, you, uh, B, dot, 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 dot. Say this country's yours if you play by the rules That song is fire. And listen to the hook. Listen to the hook if you know what I'm talking about. So long story short, back to what I was talking about. If you could quote me as regular and average as I think I am, even though my name is a new extraordinaire, I still make less than 100000 a year. I still don't even own property. I still work a regular job, technically. Um, so that, that's why I say I'm nobody special. If you could quote me, man, that does wonders for the heart. It makes me feel like, wow. It makes, <laughs> this is sad. I'm gonna say no offense, but you know when someone says no offense, it's kind of like, eh, because there's offense behind the reference. Think about that. If someone says no offense, because they're technically probably not trying to offend you, but the reference itself could be offensive. That makes me feel like a Smush Parker. Because not everyone is guaranteed to make it to the NBA. So if you made it, big ups, dude, because you one of you one of a limited few. So you made it. You might not have had a 20 seasons and made millions and millions and millions of dollars. But nonetheless, those people that were dying to get in and couldn't. So here, not to say I was dying, I'm not, I'm dying to be a celebrity. I was back in the day. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But nonetheless, I feel like, man, my two seconds of fame. Here I am. 
Yeah, so, so, so my mom quoted that, I was happy, and then I didn't know coworkers that technically do quote my hook. So yeah, I feel special when things like that happen. Um, back to it being Father's Day. I think I wanted to talk about that, but the video I just edited made me want to realize I want to continue on that. And like I told you guys, if I sit down, if there's 365 days in a year, if I sit down every day of the year, I could talk about something new. I'll reference old stuff and I'll give you old stuff and that's where fundamentals come in. And I talked about this and I can't wait to get to that video to edit it. I've never even been there yet. When I talk about fundamentals, footwork. Kobe, footwork, we'll get into that later. But yeah, I just love the fact I could talk about everything. So Father's Day is number one because that's today and my mom hit me up. Man, I love mom. And now, me being a halfway celebrity, nothing special. I lost a train of thought, clearly. But I'll pick it up, don't worry. Father's Day, videos, editing, having fun, quoting me, and life. Let's put that into a hole. So what I want to do now is ensure, now that you guys know me, now that I, I can technically do anything I want to do in these videos. Because I can edit any way I want to edit. I'm working on the one now where I said I could put a goat right here and say that's Kobe because Kobe's a goat. As I did a video, I don't know what day it was, probably Thursday because I referenced specific things about, I'm pretty sure I brought up the actual name, uh, Malcolm and Martin, and it was in reference to a messages, message I was getting on Facebook. And as I edited today's video, I was like, dude, you already explained partially why it is that you think the way you do and why it's fine for me to think the way I think and say what I say. Eventually, I'm going to get into some free will. This is huge. And another conversation. Dude, I got so much. It's fucking crazy. At one point in my life, and not even at one point in my life, this was like a couple months ago, I was like, maybe I watch too much TV. The more time goes on, the more I think me watching too much TV is beneficial for me. The fact that I get emotional when I watch TV. I can tell you right now, let me just name two, three movies off top that I know without a doubt. I could get teary-eyed towards the end of the movie or at certain points in the movie. And of course, if my kids or my wife are around, I, just, I hold it in like I'm, I'm big boss. Because I'm, I'm supposed to be a big boss in their eyes, so I have to. Dude, White House down. Channing Tatum and Jamie Foxx. But the very end, when your daughter's on the front lawn of the White House, it's about to explode because they're going to drop some, some bombs on it. Your dad tells you to run for safety and you out there waving that flag. She saved the day. Emily Kale saved the day. Dude, I get emotional when I see that. It's crazy. The simplest thing, and when I say simplest thing, seriously, if you haven't seen this movie, just go and watch it because this is the simplest thing. Cars. Yes. Lightning McQueen cars. So if your one goal is to win that Piston Cup, that's that NBA championship you're talking about. That's what means everything in the world to you your entire life. Then something happens to you. You end up somewhere you don't expect to be. And now you're in that race to win that cup that you've been dying for. Officer pulls up, continues on. Only looks that direction. If it's a four-way stop, you should look both directions before crossing the road, right? So this is how we're gonna end my video today. Good thing in my life, I know how to handle multiple situations. I know how to handle any damn 
situation. Calm, normal, hostile. So even though I do get frustrated, let me let you know, I do get frustrated. Let me let, me let you know I do get mad. I do get irritated. I do feel human emotions. Because as extraordinary as I am, I am a human being, okay? As much as they say you will never get to me, I still feel a certain type of way when I hear or see specific things. So now that I'm serious, because of two things that just happened, 